So it is January, and you guys know what that means. Actually, you probably have no idea what that means. But for me, it means that it's now been a full year since I've been monetized here on YouTube. Actually, I guess technically December marked a full year, but here we are nonetheless. Back in the summer, I gave you guys a six month update, letting you know transparently how much money this channel was generating from AdSense. And I figured that now that a full year has come and gone, it's time to update you and give you the full picture. Being that a lot of the videos I make are about money and finance, I figured that being transparent is the very least I can do. I also know that a lot of people are just genuinely curious and I'm happy to share. And for anybody who is just in the beginning stages of starting their YouTube channel or is thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I know that when I was in that position, I really found videos like this to be really helpful. And so hopefully if you're currently in that position and you're just getting started, this video will be helpful for you and will give you both some guidance and some motivation to keep going. Not only am I about to show you guys my analytics page and show you the real numbers of how much money YouTube has paid me thus far, but I'm also gonna be sharing some tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way, as well as some advice on what I would do if I was just getting started today. Now, just before we get started, if you could please take a quick second to like this video, it really does help out the channel tremendously. And if you enjoy this kind of content, subscribing will also make sure that you're in the loop when I post future updates and more videos like this one. And before I reveal the numbers, if you wanna take a guess at how much I made this first year, drop your guess in the comment section down below, and then you'll see at the end of the video if you're right or wrong, or if you were close, or if you were way off. Let's jump right into the numbers. Okay, so here we are over in my channel dashboard. We're gonna head over to the analytics page, which shows you how much money I'm making, how many views I'm getting, etc. And I'm gonna start back at the very, very beginning, which was at least the beginning of me being monetized, which was December of 2022. Okay, so we're on the views page. And as you can see, um, this was December 1st, 2022. So like a little more than a year ago. And I was getting like 100 views a day, 100 views a day, 80 views that day. And you know, I had one day there, I got a little more views. That was a particularly good day. Don't know why that happened, but you see my views were very, very low. Uh, and then on December 11th, I uploaded this video here called Why I'm So Frugal. This is the video that ultimately like really kicked my channel off into the madness that I'm living in today. So the day that it uploaded, it got about 1300 views, which for me at the time, again, was very, very good. Um, and then things just got a little bit crazy from there. The very next day, my channel got 10,000 views, which had never happened in a single day. And after that, I got 15,000 the next day and things just continued in a wild trajectory like that. If we go over to the revenue tab, you'll see that this entire time I was making no money because I wasn't even eligible to get monetized. And then after I uploaded this video here on December 11th, it took about another week for me to be able to finalize all of the paperwork that allows me to turn on monetization. And the first day that I ever got paid on YouTube was Monday, December 19th, 2022, where I got a grand total of $46.50. And the rest of the month, it kind of went like that. I was making a little more, around the same. I think I ended off the month here, the highest day. Yeah, I broke $100, um, just like the first month that I was ever monetized, $100 day, which is wild. And for that last half of December, so from the 19th to the 31st, I made a grand total of $880.06. This was the first amount of money I had ever been paid for doing anything online, especially obviously on YouTube. Two things to point out from the start. Number one is that all the money I'm gonna show you today, all the numbers are in Canadian dollars. So if you want to translate that into American dollars, subtract roughly 30%. This is also pre-tax money. YouTube and Google do not withhold taxes for me. I have to kind of uh, remit them myself. So keep all that in mind, but $880.06 was my first paycheck. Moving on, we're gonna go into January of 2022 sorry, January of 2023. So here we are, this is the first full month that I got monetized in the month of January. I got 271,000 views, which was absurd for me. I gained over 4,000 subscribers. And on the revenue side of things, I made a grand total of $1,580.61. So certainly not enough money to like quit my job and just go wild. And yeah, I had, I think my highest paying day would have been here, $122. And my lowest paying day was around here, I guess about $22. On to the next month. So this is February, 2023. And I mentioned this again last time, but February, 2023 was a crazy month for me. Um, what happened was that Why I'm So Frugal video was still going wild. It was still getting a ton of views. And then seemingly out of nowhere, a video that I had made about a year or a year and a half prior about how I managed to save $100,000 by the age of 25, that video also started picking up traction. And it went from having a couple thousand views to having like 90 or 100,000 views within the period of a week or two, which was completely unexpected. I still don't know why that happened. The algorithm works in mysterious ways, but I got almost half a million views in the month of February. And again, you'll see there was little peaks here every time that I uploaded this video right here, uploaded February 12th was actually the very first video I made like this one, um, talking about how much money I had made on my first YouTube paycheck. 
But jumping over to revenue, the highest paying day I had was $293.94. And again, I remember just being mind blown that I had earned almost $300 in a single day. The lowest paying day I had was probably like, yeah, around $60, I guess, $58. And I made a grand total of $4,006.96. And this is where things start to get pretty crazy for me because this is real money. Like this is almost enough money for me to live off of. Not quite, but almost. So I was quite excited, but I also wasn't naive enough to think that this was going to be sustainable because I knew that largely this was from those two videos that were getting a lot of views in that given time. And I knew that wasn't always going to be the case. There was obviously going to be a point where people lost interest in them and they weren't blowing up. And I knew that that number would go down. But just seeing that this was a possibility was really, really cool for me to, to experience. So in March, exactly what I just said was going to happen is what happened. I got about a quarter of the views. I got 116,000 views because those two videos were no longer going crazy for me. And I still, I mean, that's still a lot of views from my perspective. We'll go over to the revenue. So the highest paying day I had was here. Uh, I made $147.48. Again, you can see all the little peaks and valleys from the days that I upload and I get a ton of views and then it kind of slows down until I upload again. So this was my highest paying day and my lowest paying day, I think was about $16 for a grand total of $1,489.72. In April, my channel got even fewer views. I only got 79,000 views this month, despite uploading one, two, three, four, five, six times. I think that's a record for me, six times in one month. And despite all of that, I got like significantly less views than I did the month before and even more significantly less than the month before that. I think this is the point where a lot of people, even once they're monetized, get discouraged. And I see a lot of people online going, oh my God, my channel's dying. I'm getting so few views. What's going on? Is it over for me? And I mean, this is just the name of the game. It's just how it goes. There's a lot of volatility in YouTube. And the interesting thing is that, you know, you can put in the same amount of effort for every video you make. You can upload more videos, obviously, like I did here. You can upload less. And to some extent, you don't really have a lot of control over how those videos perform. You know, there's certain videos that I know are gonna perform better than others, but sometimes you make one that you think is really good and it flops. Sometimes you make one that you don't even particularly love and it does really well. So there's a lot of unpredictability. On the revenue side of things, I made $1,095.50. So again, very happy with that number, very grateful for that number, but that's about a quarter of what I made in February. My highest paying day was $117.40, and my lowest paying day would have been right here, the first of the month, I made $9.96. In May, I continued to see things decline. Once again, I wasn't upset about it. I wasn't thinking that my channel is dying. I knew this is just the ebbs and flows. Being a new YouTuber at this point, or I guess not really a new YouTuber, because like I said, I've been uploading for two years, but being new to this whole monetization part of YouTube, I was very much aware of the fact that the numbers that I was seeing, especially in those higher paying months, were very much artificially inflated from certain videos that were going kind of semi-viral or at least viral by my standards. And I knew that that was not going to be the trajectory my channel would be on at this stage. You know, is there a possibility that my channel will get to the point where it's consistently generating that much in the future? Sure, maybe. Um, and that would be lovely. And it was lovely to see that's a possibility. But I knew that, you know, you don't get into the stage where you've been monetized for four months and you're just making like four or $5,000 a month. That's typically not going to be the case. It's certainly not the case for me. In May, I only got 63.7 thousand views, so less than 64 thousand views. On the revenue side, my highest paying day was $110 and my lowest paying day was probably about 13, oh here, $8.52, I think, for a grand total of $892.86. And again, you see that it kind of became the norm for me that when I would upload, I'd maybe make around $100 that day, or obviously here in some cases a little bit less if the video was not as popular. Something else, and I did talk about this more in depth in the previous video, but the amount of money that you make per video is largely dependent on views, but over and above views, almost in a way more important than views, is the topic of the video. So there's certain topics, certain niches that pay much higher than others. Some of the highest paying niches are things like finance, credit cards, real estate, investing. And the reason for that is that advertisers are willing to pay more money to get in front of an audience that they think has more money to spend. So if you're making videos about finance and things that attract a more mature audience and potentially an audience with disposable income, advertisers want to be able to get in front of that audience. Whereas if you're making videos that target a younger audience or perhaps an audience that just doesn't have as much disposable income, maybe an audience in a country that is not as rich as America or Canada is, then that can affect things too. And so depending on the topic of the video I make, I could put two videos out that get the exact same amount of views and one could pay me twice as much as the other based on what it's about. Here, for example, I made a video 
about money. This is about my journey to personal finance and I got $89. Whereas here, I made a video about self-care and I only got $55. And if we go back to the views, you can see the views are actually quite similar. I got 5,500 views that day and 5,900 views that day. So the views are actually fairly close, but the money was like almost half. And that's all because of the niche. So moving on to June. In June, once again, my channel got even fewer views. I got just 50,000 views for the month. Going over to revenue, my highest paying day was $115, I guess. Yeah, $115. And my lowest paying day was under $10, obviously about probably there, $7.95 for a total of $842.47. And once again, if we look at the videos that were uploaded, this is a video I made about saving money on groceries. It's a money related video. It paid fairly high. This was more of kind of a psychological based video. It was a video about mindsets and, you know, just kind of a social commentary almost, and it made a little bit less. Here I made one about tipping culture. So that was also a fairly high paying video. And this one was also what I spend in a week was a fairly high paying video. So. I made four videos, three of which were about money, and even still, I only got this much because I was not getting very many views. Let's move on to July. This is where I left you guys off in the last revenue update video. So in July, things started to finally pick up a little bit more for me. I got 105,000 views this month. I uploaded five videos in total, and jumping over to the revenue, I made a grand total of $1,245.77. The videos that I uploaded were mostly money related. Um, in fact, July was a pretty pivotal month for me because one of the videos I uploaded right here on the 9th was called these five scams have become so normalized we don't even notice them anymore. And I can't even say that I recall what the motivation was for making that video. I just thought it was an interesting topic. Little did I know that that video would take off massively and become the start of what is now one of my most popular and most fun to make series here on the channel. Um, but that video was uploaded and it did fairly well. But again, $105 I made that particular day. Not anything too crazy, but still, you know, very happy with that. But then what was interesting was you saw where usually things dip down, here it started to pick up because throughout the week it started to get more views. So I got 105 there, 81 the next day, but on the Tuesday I made 113. Uh, and this is where things started to, it looked like, trend upwards for me again. Let's move on to August. This is going to be the first you guys have ever seen of this. In August, once again, I started to see more growth. I got 211,000 views that month. This was installment two of the scam series. This was kind of the follow-up to that first one. I try really hard to make videos that I am interested in, that personally, that I find fun and engaging to make, but also that you guys are going to find value in. I never want to fall into the pit of just making content that I think is going to pay high if it's not something that I enjoy doing, because I know that if I do that, then before I know it, this is just gonna feel like a job and I don't want another job. I don't want it to just feel like a chore I have to do. So going over to revenue, I made $2,455.41. So this was like a double over the previous month. And again, I think a lot of that was due to the scam series, which started to really give me a lot more traction on my channel. Something that happened that I wasn't anticipating is that I started to get a, a different audience that I had previously. Up to this point, my audience demographic was largely people like me. They were women aged 25 to 45 was the largest group. And the scam series seemed to attract a different crowd. It seemed to attract uh, a crowd of older men, um, seemingly men over 65, which is a bit weird. Uh, I'm totally fine with everybody watching and enjoying my videos. I don't care. But I think that there was a certain demographic of people who were trying to read between the lines that weren't really there and think, and, and now I get weird comments about politics that I don't agree with or about conspiracy theories that are crazy. And it's it's been an interesting ride nonetheless. Uh, people are trying to read between the lines and there are no lines to read between. I'm not trying to dog whistle anybody. I'm just, here we are, life is weird, but it did bring more views into the channel as a whole. And so my highest paying day was here. I made $218.67 and my lowest paying day was around 30, yeah, about $34, I guess, $33. And so again, a big discrepancy between those two numbers, but it was really interesting to see that leading up to that point, my low paying days could be like seven, eight, nine dollars And then at this point, I didn't have a day where I made under 30. So that was an interesting trend, an interesting change. Again, wasn't necessarily naive enough to expect that to last, but it was nice while it did. In September, we saw yet again more growth on my channel. I've basically been making this scam series a monthly installment. I've been having a lot of fun making these videos and they've been bringing in a lot of views as well. My highest paying day, I think was here, $271.97, which is when I uploaded a budgeting video. 
Um, and here we have that other scam video right here. That was the third one, which again, $189 that day. My lowest paying day was somewhere in the ballpark of $47 or $48. So once again, we saw that floor lift up a little bit in my low paying days become a little bit higher paying in general. So grand total, $3,993.72, which again, you know, not enough for me to quit my job. In case you were wondering if I'm a YouTube millionaire yet, the answer is no. Um, but it was, uh, it was a nice little extra bump that month, which I appreciated. Now let's go over to October. And let me tell you, things got a little bit crazy in October. In October, I saw yet again another increase where my views almost doubled. I got 655,000 views that month. I uploaded five videos in total, and this middle one here was, again, another scam video. This was installment four of that series, which got me 47,000 views in that one day, which is pretty crazy, by my standards at least. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a pretty hectic month. If we go over to the revenue tab, this was also, to date, the highest amount of money I had ever made in a single day when I uploaded that video. I made $417.77, and I was mind blown about it. I had recognized on the day that this video went live that I was getting a lot of views, that things were getting pretty crazy. Once I uploaded it and I saw how it performed, I knew this was going to be a pretty high paying day. I had, at that point, I don't think cracked $300 a day. Here, I soared right past that to $417.77. My lowest paying day would have been like, here, I guess, $85, which is wild to think about that every single day I was making a minimum of $85 this month. I had another video here, which did really well, got $355. In October, I made $6,128.95. Now this is real money. This is full-time money for me. This is the amount that if I was making this every single month, I would not need to have any other sources of income. I would not need another job. But again, I knew that wouldn't necessarily be the case. I just had a particularly lucrative month here. It certainly wasn't something that I could lean on. And like I said, quitting my job entirely and you know running off into the sunset being a YouTuber has not necessarily ever been my life goal. But this is where we're at, $6,128.95. And once again, it was just really cool to see that this is even a possibility at all, let alone at my stage. The question is, did it last? The answer is in November, and the answer is no. Here in November, I had 395,000 views, which is still a lot, but roughly half or almost half as much as I had the previous month. Um, here I uploaded, again, another scam video, which did fairly well for me, got 36,000 views. So it got less, if we recall, in uh, October, the scam video got 47,000 views that day. This one got 36,000. And to be fair, this isn't all on this video, but 36,000 on the channel as a whole for the day. And in revenue, we saw something kind of wild happen. On that day, when I uploaded that scam video, I hit a new personal record where I made a whopping $537.23 that day. This was not only the highest paying day I had this month, but the highest paying date I had ever had on this channel as a whole. And something that I didn't realize at the time that I was making the video, but something that I'm just, as I tried to brainstorm going backwards and wondering why this video paid so much higher, Let's jump over here to the analytics for a second. So the CPM of this video was $33.24, which is quite a bit higher. Most of my videos get a CPM somewhere in the range of $25 to $30 if they're about money and significantly less if they're not. But this was probably one of the higher CPMs that I'd ever had. And I was wondering why that happened. I didn't even think about it at the time, but retrospectively, I realized that the reason I think it happened is that in this video, one of the scams that I talked about was cryptocurrency and how I just, I don't feel like it makes any sense. And cryptocurrency obviously is a money related topic, but I think that in particular, I didn't know this because I don't make crypto videos, but I think that cryptocurrency or the topic of investing in cryptocurrency is in general a higher paying niche. And so I think that because I said words like cryptocurrency or things relevant to that, I think that it caused me to have a higher CPM, which therefore meant that I got paid more for that video, even though it had slightly less views than the previous one. It's kind of funny to think about. I'm like, I should just go into all my videos and just yell out words like cryptocurrency, investing, stockbroker. Just say words like that and see if it gets me a higher CPM. I wouldn't actually do that. That'd be, be crazy, but it's kind of funny. Anyways, that was definitely the highest paying day I had. $537 cryptocurrency <laughs> and 23 cents. And the lowest paying day I had was $51.30, I believe. Yeah, $51. You have to forgive me. I don't know why December shows differently like this. I feel like YouTube's trying to give me like a year wrap up that I didn't ask for. Um, but in the month of December, I got 239,000 views for the month. So again, a significant decrease from the previous month. And over on the revenue side, I had 
again, a little bit of an anomaly happened. I uploaded another video here, which was a scam video, which I think outperformed all the previous ones. And once again, I don't know why that happened. You know, I upload these scam videos. Some of them, they all do fairly well. Like people seem to like them, but some of them seem to outperform other ones significantly for reasons I have no idea. But I had once again, a record breaking day here where I made $607.54 in a single day. I was like gobsmacked by that, I still am, but the rest of the month by comparison was very quiet. So I made $607 that day. I made 260 on the next upload, which is a very nice amount I'm not mad about. And the lowest day was significantly less, probably all the way down around here, around $23. And so you can see interestingly that there is a huge discrepancy in my highest paying day to my lowest paying day. But I basically made most of the money for the month on this one day. And for the whole of December, I made $2,752.31. What was really interesting is that this video did phenomenally well the day that it uploaded, but it almost died entirely by the next day. Like it got a ton of views and then everybody just stopped caring all at once, which is fine. But 2752 31 for that day. Now let's do the entire lifetime of the channel from the start of me being monetized in December, 2022 to the end of December, 23. $32,558.65 in total from December 19th, 2022 to December 31st, 2023. So just, just slightly over an entire year, $32,000. So there you have it, just over $32,000 for the first full year. Let me know in the comments down below if that's more or less than you expected. I can tell you in all honesty, it's a lot more than I had expected. Unfortunately, where I live is a pretty high cost of living area. And so $32,000, especially pre-tax is unfortunately not a livable wage. So I'm certainly not in the position yet where I can afford to like leave my full-time job and focus fully on YouTube. Not that that's necessarily even my goal, but it seems like any time that anybody has any sort of following at all on any social media platform, the public tends to just assume that you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars and you're just rolling in money. And that's certainly not the case, at least not for me. With all of that said, I in no way want to downplay the fact that making an additional $32,000 this past year has been life-changing for me. It has lifted a weight off of my chest that I didn't even realize was there. So while $32,000 may not be life-changing money in and of itself, as a side hustle or as an addition to working a normal job, it really can be life-changing. To me, the craziest part is that not even that long ago, like probably within the last 10 years, I was working full-time retail jobs. I was working 40 hours a week in a job that I absolutely hated, making less money than this. And I put so much pressure on myself and I worked so hard and I took it so seriously and I was so unhappy. And I just felt like, you know, that was all the money that I was ever gonna make in the world. And if you could go back to that time and tell me that in 10 years time, I'd be making that same $30,000 working from home, doing something that I enjoy, something that I find fulfilling and exciting and fun, and that I would never have to take another order from somebody else. And I would never have to be in that environment ever again. I definitely wouldn't have believed you. I probably would have quit my job right on the spot if I had believed you, but it just is mind blowing to me how much can change in just a few years. There's a quote that I've heard and I don't even know who, who said it first. I don't know whose quote it is, but it's something along the lines of most people greatly overestimate what they can accomplish in one year, but greatly underestimate what they can accomplish in five years. And I think that that's so true. I think it's very easy for us to decide we're gonna do something and get all excited and hyped up and commit to something for a short period of time. And then when it doesn't work out as we had hoped that it would, we easily give up. Like we think we're gonna accomplish great things in a short period of time. And then when that doesn't happen, we just bail. But in most cases, if you just stick with it long enough, you actually will see success. And I think that YouTube is a prime example of that. I'm a big believer in what's known as a three-year rule, which means that if you're gonna try something new, if you're gonna start to try to build a new business or a YouTube channel or whatever it is that you wanna try to do, I think that at minimum, you have to commit to trying it for three years. And I think that if after three years time, you haven't seen any success or any progress in the way that you want, I think it's very fair to say at that point, you put in a solid effort and if you wanna quit, you can quit. But I think that in most cases, if someone just commits to being consistent and showing up and doing the work every day for three years, there's a very, very small chance that you're not gonna succeed at whatever it is you're trying to do. As I mentioned, it took almost two full years for me to even hit a thousand subscribers and be eligible to monetize on YouTube. The first few videos that I uploaded took me hours, so many hours to make, especially those first few when you don't really know what you're doing, you don't really know how to use your camera, you don't know how to edit. I think the first few videos that I made probably took me 20 to 30 hours each, which is absurd, but I had no idea what I was doing. And it's absolutely disheartening to put in all of this time and all of this effort into something and to be vulnerable enough to upload it online and feel like you're taking a big step and then you get like, two views and one of them was just you watching your own video and, and you get no results. And I think a lot of people just get really discouraged and give up along the way. I think it's Kelly Stamps who had a video that I watched 
again, before I had ever started on YouTube, where she was talking about her progress blowing up on YouTube. And she was talking about how if you want something to be a job, you have to treat it like a job, even when it's not paying you. And I think that that is so, so true. I remember hearing her say that and watching that video and just being like, yeah, it makes perfect sense. And that was my goal. You know, I wanted YouTube to become something that could be some sort of a part-time job for me at least. And for the first many, many months, the first almost two years, it certainly wasn't. But I kept treating it like it was, which means that even though I wasn't making any money, I uploaded consistently, I kept working on it every day. Basically, I treated it as though it was a job where I had expectations I had to meet and I had deadlines I had to meet, even though they were all self-imposed. And by doing that, by building that consistency, not only in the uploads for my audience, but building that consistency within my own routines and my own schedule and my own discipline, I think is largely why I got to the spot that I'm at today. Think of it like this. If somebody was able to guarantee you that if you uploaded consistently for three years, that by the time you hit that three year mark, something would happen. You would have a viable channel. You'd have some success. If that was a guarantee, would you be willing to put in those first three years of work knowing you're going to get nothing out of it? If the answer is yes, then go ahead and do it and just know that this is the process and that's just how it goes. And if the answer is no, that's perfectly valid too. I'm sure there are plenty of people who would say, you know what? I don't want to dedicate three years of my life to doing something. Even if it's going to pay off, I could do better things with my time during those three years. And that's totally your choice to make. But the point is that I'm very confident that pretty much anybody can succeed doing this if they can just commit to it and be consistent for three years. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you or at the very least just entertaining or scratch the curiosity itch, whatever it may be. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit that like button. It takes you like half a second. It costs you nothing and it really does help out my channel. Maybe subscribe as well if you haven't done so yet. You can follow me on Instagram at according underscore two underscore Nicole. And if you're in the beginning stages of starting a YouTube channel or you're considering it and you have any questions, anything that you think that I didn't cover in this video, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer them. Other than that, thank you guys so much as always for watching. Take care. I really appreciate it. See you next time.